Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. The other day, I saw this Reddit post asking for curved horns. I showed how you could make them with a couple of shapes and a little bit of trickeration in Tinkercad. Today, I'm going to show you another tool that lets us smooth them out. So the first thing you do is export, and you export them as an STL. I have already done that. Now let me take you to Mesh Mixer and I'll show you how this works. Friends, I present Autodesk Mesh Mixer. It is a super cool program. It's no longer supported. I'll make sure there's a link up in the corner with a video showing you how to find it. I'm going to show you a few quick tools. This one's pretty slick. If we hit import, we can bring in that STL we just made. There's the Curve Torrents Challenge. Now when you bring this in, you'll see that it's not smooth. Well, let me show you how we can fix that. First, I'm going to do Control A to grab all of it. And then under Deform, I'm going to choose Smooth. Notice it instantly came up with a Shape Preserving Smooth. I'm just going to accept it because that's a lot better than it was a moment ago. Now, if you look at my bottom, it's not cut, but it's not cut the way I want anymore, but we'll fix that in a minute. The next thing I'm going to do, still with it all selected using Control A, is I'm going to go to Edit, and I want to Remesh. Now, we couldn't even see what happened there, so I'm going to undo that. I'm going to cancel it. I'm going to first do View, and I'm going to switch to Wireframe. So this is the mesh that this part is built from. You can see Part 1 that I get grabbed in Tinkercad had all those triangles, part two had that, and then those are the seams. So now when we go to edit and remesh, it made all the triangles the same size. I had reduced density on, you can slide those wherever you want. Little changes are better than big changes. And then you simply hit accept. So that's how easy it is to get it smooth. There is a cool tool that you can use called Sculpt. It takes a lot of practice. I'm not going to tell you I'm good at this, uh, but I'll show you a little bit of how it works. So let's say I want to move something here. I can switch to move. I'm going to just use the default pieces here. And let's say I want to lift this up a little bit. You may notice that that one on the screen uh, had a different point. So I'm just a little bit at a time making this so it looks like it did on that screen a little bit more. Let's see if I can even pull that out so it's got a little more of a tip. And this takes a lot of practice. I'm not going to say I'm good at all. But like right there, there was a little dent. And you can just simply morph this to exactly what you want. Mesh Mixer is amazing for this kind of stuff. And then the final thing I want to show you down here is how to trim it so that bottom is super flat. So I'm going to go over to Tools. Let's do that Control A again so we can see everything. And this time we're going to do Edit. And we want to do what's called a Plane Cut. So you can see that gives us this plane. I can simply pull it down to where it would be flat. That'll give me a nice flat bottom. So you can see it's going to cut that bottom off. It's set to cut and it's going to discard half. It's going to discard the half below and it's going to remesh the bottom. Let's hit accept. And then we can zoom in and take a look at it nice and flat on the bottom. So friends, this is Mesh Mixer. It's free. It uh, only works on your PC. I've got a series of tutorials about it that you can check out. I'll make sure the playlist is at the end of the video. At this point, I'm going to simply do File Save so that I don't lose it. I'm going to call it Curve Torn. And then I'm also going to export it so I can bring it back into Tinkercad. So I'm going to do File Export and I want to do a Binary STL. And I'm going to just call it Curve Torrens and I'm going to put V2. And save. Close Mesh Mixer, bring back Tinkercad, import, choose file, and there is our Curve Torrens V2. 
I'm going to keep the measurements and choose import. And there you have the ones that were made in Tinkercad and the new ones that have been adjusted with Mesh Mixer. I'm going to change the color. Let's go to stock colors and go with that white. And let's do control D. So there are two of them. There you go, friends. Tinkercad to Mesh Mixer for smoothing. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. Of course, I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Then down below, you can find my day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Beneath that, you can also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. Friends, you can click that, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. I do also want to recommend the Tinkercad Community Discord. Friends, as you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.